Summer break is coming to a close and kids are getting ready to head back to class. But as we get ready to flip the calendar to September, some students still haven't turned the corner from 2020. Many are still struggling to try to catch up following the pandemic. Educators say some kids are still showing developmental delays due to isolations and those shutdowns. So what's being done now to help all these years later to make sure they don't fall even more behind? Here's Eyewitness News anchor Joe Torres. Andrea McDevitt knows all about the excitement surrounding a new school year, but the veteran elementary school teacher, now in her 18th year, is also keenly aware of a pandemic-related reality. Kids whose social development suffered as mom and dad work from home while the kids occupied themselves. There were kids that were excited to come back and then there were kids that were terrified to come back. You know, maybe they lost somebody at home. Maybe they were dealing with you know, a lack of technology at home, so they fell behind academically. The issue of students who are developmentally behind is not unique to Baldwin or even Long Island. It is a nationwide concern, but Superintendent Dr. Sherry Kami has spearheaded a comprehensive effort to ensure the lack of social engagement does not hamper academic achievement in her district of 4,500 students. We want our kids interacting with each other. One of the things that we're finding is that they don't know how to do that and 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 we're now in a position to teach our young people socialization skills which we never had to teach before at the meadow school one of five elementary schools in baldwin redesigned classrooms encourage student collaboration a professional learning lab helps teachers develop critical thinking students having trouble getting through the school day can find comfort in a center focused on academic and emotional wellness if you don't know how to socialize or you haven't perfected your ability to socialize, it's really hard to have a difficult conversation. Christy Sanicor designed her kindergarten classroom to specifically identify the developmental challenges faced by her students. Then she can tailor a solution to help the kids get back on track. Let's say I have a student who comes in in the morning repeatedly. They are tired. They come in every single day, they're tired. Okay, now I'm noticing that pattern and I want, I want to elaborate. I want to speak with the child. I want to see what's really going on behind that. Parents, you have a role to play in all of this. Ordering your child off social media and away from their phone also involves you doing the same. And if it's been a while since you've read a book to your son or your daughter or taken them outside for a game of backyard basketball, now is the time to reestablish that socialization. In Baldwin, I'm Joe Torres, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Joe. Eyewitness News will help you kick off the school year. Next week, I will be co-hosting this back-to-school town hall with Shirley and Alicott. We'll be joined by New York City Public Schools Chancellor David Banks and some other DOE officials. You can watch it streaming live on Wednesday at 5 o'clock at abc7ny.com. If you have a question for the Chancellor, we invite you to submit that question before the town hall. All you have to do is just go right now to abc7ny.com and look for the link right on the front page.